Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'll be showing you how to quickly create a button on Elementor Pro in less than five minutes. Buttons are extremely useful when prompting people to subscribe to your newsletter, donate to your website, and website navigation as a whole. So it's important that you have a good understanding of how to create one for any scenario. Luckily, with Elementor Pro, this process is super easy and it only takes a few minutes. And yeah, the reason why is because of Elementor's drag and drop page builder that makes building a website extremely easy. Okay, so here I am in my WordPress dashboard, and the first thing to do when creating a button is to find out which page you wanna create the button for. So in this case, we'll go ahead and create a button for our homepage. So here, just go ahead and click on Pages, and then go to All Pages. So from here, you can put a button on basically any page, but for this case, let's do a button on the homepage. Go ahead and click on Homepage, and then click on Edit with Elementor. All right, so here we are inside our homepage, and as you can see, we use buttons for everything. So we have a button here to subscribe. There's a couple buttons here to prompt them to go to our side hustle category page or our business formation page. And then we also have buttons here at the bottom. Startup Wise YouTube channel. When you click to this, it will redirect you to our channel. So buttons are useful all over a website. And it's super easy to program. All you really have to do is make it look the way you want it to and then just copy and paste the link and it'll work from there. So let me just show you how that works. If you wanted to go ahead and create a subscribe form like the one we have right here all you have to do is go over here and let's start by adding in some text so go to headings and add in some text here so boom and then we'll do one more heading okay and then there's the subscribe button so we need to add in a button go ahead here drag in the button all right so we can change the text to call it subscribe to hustle club receive weekly newsletters about side hustles, right? Just something simple, but I'm gonna keep it basic for now just to save time, but you guys get the point. You can put whatever you would like right here. And let's go ahead and center it and then center the button as well. So go ahead, center it here and choose a button size. For us, we like a larger button size for this one and go ahead and click on here where it says link. And this is where you'll actually just post where you want the button to redirect you to. So for us, we have a newsletter redirect webpage. So go ahead and just copy the link here. And then we will just go ahead and simply post Post it here where it says link and boom now when they click on this it will take them to this web page um, just to further configure this to make it look more along the lines of this go ahead and change the text to whatever you'd like we will put subscribe and let's change a few things in the style settings so for typography let's make the text a little bit bigger and blow it up something like that maybe put it at 26 or 25 and then you can change the weight as well so you want to make it like bold extra bold semi bold we'll go with bold and then you can transform it as well so we already have it on all uppercases but you can do this here all lowercase capitalize whatever your liking is and then a decoration right so you could make it underlined you can have a line over it a line through it I'll just show you how that looks real quick. So this is how it looks with the underline and we'll go ahead and leave that because it looks kind of nice there. Some other things you can do is change the line height, the letter spacing, the word spacing, but I'm gonna leave this as default for now. And the next thing you can do is change the hover color. So right now it's like a green and the background is blue. So let's fix that in the style. For the text color, let's leave that as white. And for the background type, so you click background type, classic, and then click here or click on the global colors and switch it to like a light green. That looks a little too light so let's do this darker green okay perfect so now as you can see we have our subscribe button a little text above and below to prompt them and real quickly let's just change this to like a h3 and then we'll make these bold as well so same thing for these just go over to text typography and change the weight to bold same thing here style typography and change the weight to bold okay so now it looks good okay so the last thing we want to probably do for this one is make it jump out at you when you put your mouse over it and this is super simple so you will go to style then you go to hover and then hover animation just click on grow so as you can see now it pops up at you and we'll leave it as like that gray color when you hover it over it too kind of goes gray so 
So that looks good to me. And then when you click on this, it will redirect them to this page. So one simple and easy button to do, and I'll show you how to do another one real quick. If you wanna have a side hustle button or a redirect button to take you to one of your pages on your website, you'll basically just do the same thing. So in short, just go to your website, find that page that you wanna link them to. So for us, let's say we wanna create a side hustle page or a side hustle button, go here, just copy this, go back to Elementor. And then what you can actually do to save you time, go ahead here and copy this section. So then you can go ahead, create a new little section and then paste your copied section into here and then delete whatever you don't want. Let's see here, like delete this text, delete this text, click on this button, switch it to, we're gonna direct them to our side hustle page, right? So switch this to side hustles, right? We don't want this one to have that. We'll leave the blow up because it actually looks good and I'll probably end up switching it on the rest of the website. So let's leave that for now, but let's reduce the size a little bit. So let's see, let's bring this down to like a smaller button. There we go, that looks better. Yeah, just like that, go ahead and switch this out, the link, paste this link and now this side this is a side hustles button so you can go ahead and use this anywhere on the website and just like that you can create dynamic buttons and the last thing I would recommend is once you do the work you can really just copy and paste things from there and then reapply it elsewhere so as you can see this was a subscribe button before but all I did was copied it from here pasted it in here and then kept the settings but switched some other ones around so I switched the wording I switched the link and maybe I made it fit a little bit better in whatever section I wanted it to be in and same thing for here, right? That's all I did. Startup Wise YouTube channel. I went ahead, got on our YouTube channel, posted the link here, switched the text again, kept it all the same so I didn't have to redo this whole hover thing. And it's really that easy, guys. All you have to do is create one button and pretty much the work is done from there. You can just kind of repurpose it from then on. All right, so I went a little bit over the five minutes on how long it would take to create a button, but that was just so I can show you guys all the different use cases and how to really take advantage of the work you've already done so you're not over here repeating the same steps for every other button that you create. So that's gonna be how you create a button on Elementor Pro. Again, I'll go ahead and leave the link to Elementor Pro down in the description for you guys to check out. And yeah, hopefully this technique that I showed you will save you a ton of time when creating your own personal website. If you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button, share with a friend, and subscribe for more content just like this. Here at StartupWise, we're dedicated to giving you free guides and tutorials to help you start your business. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.